Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and today I want to share with you some dog essentials our dog's favorite things, and I have two Bark Box unboxings to do. Um, I kind of got backed up because I like to share that a little bit with our dog Leo, and I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it. So I have a very exciting video for you today. Um, if you're not familiar with myself or my channel, we have a golden doodle dog named Leo, and he will be a year in May. Actually, his birthday is on Cinco de Mayo, which I think is a lot of fun. So um, now that we've had him for quite some time, I feel like I kind of know what I purchased um, that was worthwhile. So for you, maybe new dog owners, or if you're getting a puppy, or if you're just looking for um, certain types of things that maybe will work better for your dog. I think I have some really good ideas here because everything that I'm sharing with you is just tried and true. Our dog loves it or it is something that we have found to be really, really helpful. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is one of my absolute favorites. This is a flea and tick spray and it's all natural. It's for dogs of all ages. I actually got this when Leo was a little tiny puppy and I didn't want to put any harsh chemicals on him but we do go to the lake a lot and we're in a heavily wooded area so I wanted to keep him safe from um, ticks and fleas and this is by Natural Chemistry and I will leave a link for um, all of these items or everything that I can find in the description below so that you can easily access them but um, this smells wonderful. <laughs> like even though I don't need to use a flea and tick spray on our dog year round, I don't mind occasionally spraying him with this. And it's actually, it's like a foamy spray. So you spray your dog and you kind of massage it into his fur. Um, and it smells like cookies. <laughs> like when he was a puppy, our friends would always be like, why does he smell like cookies? He smells so good. The scent in here, um, this is, like I said, it's all natural and it's made with cinnamon oil, clove oil, and cedar oil. And it says that it kills fleas and ticks by contact and it also kills black flies and mosquitoes. Um, and again, it's by Natural Chemistry and I cannot recommend this enough. I really, really love this spray. Another spray that we have found really helpful, especially through the puppy ears, or if you have a dog that is just a chewer, um, our dog wasn't too, too bad with chewing things, but he did like to chew like the corner of our kitchen cabinets, which is wood. So we um, picked up this bitter apple spray and we sprayed it on anything that he seemed inclined to like to chew on. And even sometimes when we were walking him, he would like to turn his head around and try to like chew on um, his leash. So we would spray the bottom of his leash so he would do it once and he would never attempt it again because they really do not like the taste of this bitter apple spray. So definitely highly recommend this. I guess I'll finish off with our last spray. I use a company called Life's Abundance and the only reason I even found out about it was the woman who um, was breeding Golden Doodle Litter where we got our dog Leo from. She uses all of the Life's Abundance products and a few of the items I still continue to purchase to this day through their website just because I think that they're really, really good quality. And one is this Bath Fresh Mist. Um, this is kiwi and mango scent. And basically it's just to kind of freshen them up. I spray him probably once or twice a week with this and just give him a good brushing just so that he smells a little bit better. Not so doggy smelling, especially this time of year where it tends to be really wet outside and like that wet dog smell. So that really helps out a lot. And I guess since I'm already discussing Life's Abundance products, I'll show you a couple of more items from Life's Abundance that I really, really were like game changers for us. So when we first brought our puppy home and he was really hyper and really wanted to chew on things, the only thing that he definitely was like really into, no matter what, it would like if I needed him to calm down, if I gave him one of these, we were good. And this is the Buffalo Bully Sticks for dogs. And again, this is by Life's Abundance. And I'll take it out to show you, but I have, we call these stinky sticks because they stink so bad, but they're like, <laughs> really the worst smell you could imagine but they are awesome so this is what they look like 
and they are just bully sticks and um, our dog really really loves these usually like in the morning when we're trying to sit and have our coffee and we want him to be with us but we want him to be like somewhat calm so that he's not splashing and spilling things all over the place we'll give him one of these and he'll just lay down next to us and chew it forever and like if I had to pick one thing from all the things that I'm showing you today I would say definitely these bully sticks and I would also say by Life's Abundance because I've tried a variety of other ones and I know all dogs are different, but this is the one that our dog really, really loves the most. Some of the other ones he really wasn't into at all. So highly, highly recommend this, especially if you have a chewer or a puppy. And then another um, thing that he really likes is these Porky Puffs. They're pork treats for dogs. And I was so freaked out the first time I saw this because it's actually like a pig's snout if you can see that it actually has like the little holes for the nose and it totally grossed me out the first time I opened up this package I could I couldn't even believe it but these are also amazing he goes through this a little bit more quickly especially now that he's so much bigger he can just like gobble this thing right up in a matter of minutes um, but he does love them and Target does sell these as well. I find these to be a lot better, but in a pinch I'll pick up some from Target too. So uh, definitely a great kind of chew toy for a dog that's teething or just likes to chew a lot. These make for a really great uh, treat. Of course you need a good blanket coming in and out of the snow or in and out of the rain. We have big fluffy golden doodle paws and our golden doodle loves to play in the mud. So he's like always a mess. So I need, this is a rather big blanket and it's pretty dirty right now because actually I've been using it. Um, but a really good absorbent blanket is really great for drying off those paws. So that is something I definitely have been using. Also, um, I was really into like trying to train our puppy to ring bells to go to the bathroom. So you hang this, it's called potty bells, and you hang it on your door and you try to train them to jingle the bells every time they need to go outside to go to the bathroom. So basically, initially you start off by every time you take them out, you kind of jingle the bells or you get them to nudge it with their nose before you open the door. And they do get the gist of it rather quickly. Um, the only thing is, sometimes I think he just jingles the bells because he wants to go outside and play. So um, you have to really know your dog. I mean, I know when he really has to go to the bathroom, he'll jingle the bells and he'll start whining a little bit. He'll be a little bit more pushy about us uh, opening that door for him. But um, yeah, sometimes he just jingles them either for fun because he likes the way it sounds or because he wants to go outside and play. But anyway, you kind of know that there's a good chance they have to go if they're jingling them. So I did find it helpful um, in the long run. Okay, more chew toys that I think are great. And the reason I'm sharing so many with you guys is because there's so many out there on the market and a lot of them are like hit or miss. So as many as I'm showing you, these are the ones that we buy over and over again that our dog really likes. And then we have others that are just kind of sitting in a bin that he's never touched. So these are like the really tried and true toys. Now these are buffalo horns. These are water buffalo dog chews and it's 100% natural. And you can see it's like a real buffalo horn. And um, he really likes these. This is like the third one that I purchased for him. They, they last a while, but um, he really grinds them down after a while too. And I purchased this from Target as well. And then I also purchased kind of the same type of thing are these deer antlers. And it's just like a real 100% natural deer antler and he will chew on it. He really enjoys it. These types of hard, like animal horns, <laughs> he just seems to really like. So definitely think that these are worth giving a try. Another item that I found really helpful is this type of brush that has like um, a little retractable pushy thing. I don't even know what to call it, but basically it has like the little wire bristles and then when you're done brushing your dog, and I have like our old one here to show you, you know, they're the wire bristles, but all that dog hair gets stuck in there and it's really hard to get out. And like when I try to get it out with my fingers, sometimes I poke myself and it's rather painful. So 
I don't recommend getting these flat brushes unless they have this little retractable part here that actually pushes the dog hair out and then you can just shake it off in your garbage can. So I definitely think this is really, really worth it. Another item that we do get a lot of use out of are these like little collapsible dog bowls that you can fill with water. They're just great to keep in your car or when you're traveling. You can throw it easily in a suitcase. Um, I keep this one actually in my car at all times so that if we do have him with us, we do travel a lot. So if we're taking a long car drive, I have this, I can take it out and just pour a little bit of bottled water in here and he can have something to drink. So I think these are great. And then they collapse down into like this small little thing. So you could even slip this right in your glove compartment. Really good to have. Of course, um, you need lots and lots of little, you know, doggy like poop bags. But I love having a little bag like this. Now this is like, it says treats on it. This is um, from PetSmart actually. And I believe this was in the Ellen DeGeneres line. She has some really, really cute pet supplies. But I love having something like this with a little strap that you can just kind of loop around your like belt hole or you can just, you know, have around your wrist. It kind of just frees up your hand so that you can hold onto the leash. I like to um, hold the leash with both of my hands just to have a better grip on him. So being hands-free and having something like this to keep some treats and some little uh, doggy poop bags in is really, really great to have. And I just thought this one was really cute. Another item that we purchased at PetSmart, actually I'm sharing this because it was the one time that we took our dog Leo to PetSmart to go shopping um, and he picked this out for himself. Did you see that? <laughs> that piece just totally fell off. He must have chewed that off. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, it's still... All right, there's no stuffing or anything coming out, so it's still usable. But this is one of those long toys that have like a whole bunch of little squeaky parts going all the way across. And um, he took this right off the shelf and dragged it around the store with him the whole time. I'll actually leave a link to that video above because it was really a fun day taking him shopping. But he still loves this toy. So I just thought I would share it with you guys in case you see any of these types of like really long top toys that have all the squeakers going all the way down. I think they're a lot of fun. Although I should let you know it will drive you absolutely crazy. <laughs> because it is very noisy um, but he has a lot of fun with it and we like to play fetch with this all the time too so uh, this was a really cute toy for him okay I have two more items before I get to my bark box unboxing and one item that I have found very helpful throughout all of the time that we have had our dog is this um, dog training revolution book by Zach George and I should also mention that he has an awesome YouTube channel um, and most of the stuff that he references in this book is also on his channel. So if you're having any difficulties or issues with your puppy or your dog, um, if you find his channel, I am sure he will be able to answer any questions that you have through his videos. They are most informative. And uh, this book has just been a great reference for me. You can see I have a bunch of pages here kind of marked off, but um, before we got our dog, I read the whole book. And then now that we have him, I do reference it quite often and it has been really helpful. This is the book that helped um, teach me how to use like the bells for potty training. And he just talks about like all of the things that you need before you get a puppy. And it's just really great. I can't recommend it enough. A couple of items that are way too big for me to actually physically show you here are um, a really good dog crate and we actually have a couple. I have one of those big like metal crates that I keep in our kitchen so that when he goes to bed at night he does go in the crate and we don't even lock it anymore but he just still will go in there and go to sleep until the morning and then he'll come out. It's just like his little private uh, bedroom and when we do travel we have a lake house that we travel to quite often so I have this awesome crate and it's collapsible. It's made out of like cloth and mesh and it zippers on every single side. It's really, really great. Very lightweight. I could carry it with one hand, um, but it's also very comfortable and very well made. So that is something that I keep in my car for the most part for when I travel with him. And I also will bring it to our destination. I can easily take it out of my car and put it, um, you know, in our lake house or wherever it is that we're visiting or going. It's so super easy to use and collapses very easily as well. Another uh, essential 
I totally lied to you guys. I think I told you I had two things left. I have two physical things left. I have one more physical thing to show you. But I have a new essential that just recently came into play. Now that our dog is so big, like he was this little when we brought him home, and now he's just like a monster. He's so big. You'll see him uh, in a couple of minutes when we do the bark box but I cannot lift him into the trunk of my car anymore, into like the hatchback area when I travel with him. I just physically cannot lift him off the ground. So I got a ramp for my car, and he can just climb up the ramp and get into the back seat, and then it collapses down. But yeah, that is definitely something that's important. I recently got a new car this past fall, so trying to lift him and having him scratching um, at the bumper and at the end part of my car was just not good. So I really, really recommend thinking ahead and getting that ramp if you do have a larger dog that you are unable to lift up into your car. Okay, now this item, which is the last thing I have to show you, um, some people think this is like a torturous, horrible thing to use for an animal, but I think it's really important to have and it really, really did make my life a lot easier. We took Leo to puppy kindergarten and I was having a really hard time walking him. He was pulling me all over the place. I had no control. I tried all of the different techniques. I had still had no control and they highly recommended getting one of these training collars. They're by a company called Spranger. S-P-R-E-N-G-E-R is the company name. And basically you can see it has these little prongs. They are not sharp, they are dull on the end, but they are little prongs. And when you tug at them, you can see this is kind of, it'll pull it a little bit tighter to his neck if you're pulling on the leash. But it's discomfort, it does not hurt. He doesn't whine, he doesn't cry, he's not in pain. If he is trying to run or pull away from me, and I give him a little bit of a tug, he will come right back, no problem. And the reason I think this is so important is because it really is like a safety issue, um, especially now that he's so big and I really have no control. If there is a squirrel, he cannot help himself and he will take off. And I do not always have the capacity to hold him back. And I just can't even stand the idea of him getting away from me, getting hit by a car, getting hurt. Um, I just think that even though this might cause him a little bit of discomfort, it's great at training him to walk right by my side and it keeps him safe, it keeps me safe. I'm not being, you know, dragged or hurt or falling over because I can't control what he's doing. So I really, really do recommend the training collar if you have any issues with walking your dog. Um, I know a lot of people who have given up on walking their dog and they don't even take their dogs for walks because it's such a miserable experience. And I'm telling you, this will change that for you if that is your situation. All right, so for the BarkBox unboxing, I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time because Leo is really hyper and it's really hard to take everything out and share it with you guys as he's trying to get into it as well. So what I'm going today to do today is I have two boxes. I'm going to open them up. I'm gonna calmly show them to you so you can actually see what's inside and then we will present them to Leo and see how he likes them. So I think that's a good plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, as I said, we have two boxes to open today. So let's get right into it. Here is the first box, and the other one is a little bit bigger. Anxious to see what he has. I feel so bad. He actually ran out of dog treats, and um, I wasn't about to buy him more because I had these two boxes just sitting here waiting to be opened. Let's have a really cute theme. This theme is Paradise Unleashed Beach Club and Resort. Oh, this is great for this time of year. I could so use a trip to a beach resort right now. And they always give you this really cute little pamphlet. Um, and there's like a recipe on the back. Virgin strawberry pina colada. And then there's another recipe for a strawberry pina chulada for your dog. Really cute. Oh, let me just show you the inside of the box. They always have like the cutest wrapping paper or tissue paper inside that has like all these lifeguards on the beach. Huh? We have this like little parrot squeaky toy. This is really cute and it has the little crinkly tail. I think he's gonna like this. He likes things that like crinkle. And then, oh, how cute is this? 
Oh, it's like a little pina colada tropical drink in a coconut. It has a straw. It has a little crinkly um, like umbrella, how they put those little umbrellas in tropical drinks. This is really cute. He's going to go nuts for these. And then a butcher block treat tendon shoe. Okay, kind of looks like a little like mini type of a bully stick. I'm sure he'll like that. Hawaiian duck, wheat, corn, and soy free, made in the USA. Little uh, dog biscuits. And then beast of the feast, pork and apple dog treats. So he has two bags of treats. He's gonna really be happy about this. He's really needing some dog treats, like I said. And then the little bully stick type of thing. And these two toys. Ah, really, really cute. I like the tropical theme, that's really cute. Okay, now let's open the second box and then we will uh, go show Leo all his new goodies. This box is a little bit bigger, so I'm curious to see what's inside. It's a rather large box. I don't think I've ever gotten a box this big from them, so we'll see. Oh, this is like right up my alley. I love anything that has to do with like castles, like medieval times types of things, and I didn't even see the contents yet, but look at this paper. Can you see that paper? And it has like the castle and the knights. Oh, I'm so excited to see what's in here. This is gonna be a good one. Crown your dog. Oh, it's a little crown. It's a little pop-out that you could uh, pop out and put on your dog. This will never fit Leo's head. <laughs> I think I have to upgrade my boxes to like the extra large dog. I think I have him um, listed as like a medium dog now with BarkBox. You kind of fill out a little thing that explains, you know, what your dog likes and what his size is and his breed. And I forget even what the questions were way back when, but um, this would never fit uh, <laughs> big Leo's head. This is cute though. The Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> okay, so here's Squirrel Lancelot. What was I saying? How Leo goes crazy for squirrels. He's gonna like this with the bushy little tail. I'm sure it's squeaks. Yep. Oh, this is cute, the dragon. And he has the crinkly wings. And he's blowing fire out of his mouth. That's cute. And dental chews, Dozer's dental chews for medium dogs. This says 30 to 50 pounds. I am not sure how much Leo weighs at this point. I'm thinking he's got to be somewhere between 50 and 60 pounds. Banquet feast turkey and honey dog snacks. He has so many treats right now. And then green bark gummies with Nutra Chi. Interesting. Okay, so again, he has this little chew bone. He has um, two snacks. He has two toys. And I just want to show this to you guys. It's like this whole bark box, the tail of, and then you fill in your dog's name, and then you describe your dog, and it's like this whole scroll. How cool is this? I love this. This is really, really neat. <laughs> and then here's the back side of it. it. Has like this whole scene with dragons and castles and knights. This is really, really fun. I think this might be my favorite bark box yet. I love the whole uh, royal theme here, going back in time with the dragons and the castles and all that fun stuff. Okay, I know this is a really long video, I'm sorry, but let's go show this to Leo and see what he thinks. Okay, Leo, are you ready to see what's in your bark box? Are you ready? All right, bark box number one. First, we'll do the tropical themed bark box and see how Leo likes it. Anything good in there? Ooh. You found the parrot. What else? <laughs> and the pina colada. And lots of treats in there. Lots of treats. It's so exciting. Look at all those 
toys. Which one do you like? Oh, he likes the coconut. <laughs> you like that coconut, don't you? All right, Leo. Box number two. Yes, it's exciting. More stuff. Okay. What are you finding? Oh, he found the dragon. Do we love the dragon too? He does. What else? What else is in there? And the, oh, is that the squirrel night? And do we have lots of treats in there? Do we have lots of treats in there, Fluffy Face? Yeah? Look at all your new toys. Look at all those new toys, Leo. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Isn't this so exciting? I know. I think Leo wants maybe one of his treats. Okay, we're gonna give Leo one of his treats. Leo, set, lay, up, speak. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Leo. Give me your paw. Paw. Good boy. I think Leo was very happy with his bark box. Are you happy, Leo? Are you happy with the park box? <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed my bark box unboxing today with Leo. I think this was a better way to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, at least I was able to actually show you the contents of the box before giving it to Leo because he can be crazy. <laughs> but that was fun, right Leo? Why are you so chic today? Was that fun? I think he had a good time. I think he's really enjoying all of his new toys. What do you think, Leo? Are you enjoying all your new toys? I think he is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. You'll see lots of Leo there as well. <laughs> Have a great week. Take care. Bye.